Hi everyone, Lauren Smith here, the product manager of CopySmith, and today I'm excited to show you our new editor experience. You'll see the option here on the landing page to create a new editor file. We'll be making upcoming changes to the landing page as well as our files page as you know it in the CopySmith app. We're really striving to make creating copy faster and easier than ever. Let's go ahead and get started and let me show you the power of AI in our editor. When I'm brought to, to the editor, I can freestyle anything that I want to write here. So in the actually editor document, I can say new editor experience demo. So when I type this out, as you can see here on the left, I get the words and the characters broken down for me. It's going to keep track of that throughout this demonstration. So keep track throughout. Within the editor, whenever I select the text, I do get access to a toolbar. In this toolbar, you have your standard editing or formatting options, as well as the ability to convert it into a heading, a list, or a checklist. We also have the character and word count over here to our right, which is just showing us the character and word count for the text that we have selected. So over here on the far left, we have that for the whole document. Selected text shows me what I have here. We also have some actions that we can do to improve our writing. So if we want to enhance, free write, or extend, we can do so right here and it will take that selected text and run it through those action items for us. We also can marker things, so highlight any text that we enjoy or we maybe want to call attention to, especially when it comes to assigning this document and adding it to a workflow queue. When the text isn't selected, you'll see that there are two icons over here to our left. We have the Add tab and the Click to Tune. Eventually, you're going to be able to select this and drag and drop this text block wherever you need to, but for now, you can simply move it down to where you want it to be in the document, or you can move it up. If you want to remove the text altogether, you can do so as well by just clicking the Delete, Delete again. If you need to add anything, such as a text, a heading, a list, checklist, or a delimiter, you have that option here as well. So now let's pull over and look at the left-hand side, which is going to be our use cases. So whenever you are not freestyle writing, you still have the power of AI and the use cases over here on your left. The first option you're going to see is our command copy use case. So command copy is Kind of what it sounds like. You're going to give a commanded instruction to CopySmith on what you need to create. As you see here in this drop down, we don't have all of our templates readily available in this editor. So we wanted to create a use case for you so that if you're missing something here, you'll be able to still create it and give that instruction, which is exactly what command copy can do. We are working on moving all of our legacy templates and even the custom templates that you have saved to your account to be accessed in this drop down. Again, we have so many more improvements and changes coming to the editor. We just couldn't wait any longer and wanted to get this new tool out to you as quickly as possible. So after you've chosen your use case, which I have here for command copy, you can choose the number of variations you'd like. So how many outputs do you want to see? It's always going to default to one, but you can go up to five. We still have that language capability, so if you need to output or have that variation in another language, you still have the power to do so right here within the editor. We also have our tone, which I'm going to change to friendly, and then the creativity, so ideal, simple, chatty, verbose. Ideal is going to be the level of creativity that we have already predetermined for that use case, but maybe you need it to be a little bit more simple, which means kind of less words, more direct, or it can be a little chattier or even verbose, so longer. Because command copy can honestly fit so many different use cases, uh, something as short as a tagline or as long as a blog post, you can play with the max content length here. We just don't know what you want to create. So in this extra settings, feel free to come in here and set the content length that you are aiming for. It doesn't mean that that's how long the content or the generation is going to output, but it is a guidance for us. So with the holidays coming up, I need to write a product description for one of my fancy pens. I want the product description to be festive and be specific for the holidays. So I'm going to click, write that instruction here and click generate. As you see, I have asked for three variants and I received 
three variations in my editor. Now here is where the fun can begin. So I love this one, introducing the most amazing pen you'll ever use. <laughs> this point zero zero seven felt tip pen is perfect for any holiday occasion, whether you are writing a letter to Santa or just doodling some holly. Like that is just beautiful. So if I, again, if I like a certain product description maybe more than the others, I can marker it and highlight it. I can also take it and move it up maybe to the top of my editor um, as well. Again, I can take this and assign it using our workflow queue for review or if I need any team members to look it over. Again, I can't stress how excited we are for this new editor tool. We will be adding improvements and changes, so just keep coming back to Copysmith to see what we do next here. We can't wait to see what you create with our new editor tool. Thank you so much for your time and happy Copysmithing.